Going on vacation sometimes stresses me out. The last couple of days before my vacation, I start stressing out over things I would leave at home. And I would run through the list of what I would need to do, like turning off the gas, turning off the power where it's not needed, checking the solar batteries, and turning on the alarm and making sure settings are done correctly. And I would always check on my servers, making sure they're secure and the services needed are running properly. On the day I leave for vacation, for some reason, I can't just leave. I always feel that I need to do another lap around the house rechecking everything. But with Rustdesk, I can access my home PC anytime, anywhere I am, using any device with Rustdesk installed. I can look at the camera feed around the house and check on my servers. And I can literally do some work done as if I'm right at home. Checking OCD Bliss Rustdesk is an open source software that you can use to access and control computers and other devices remotely. I am mainly installing Rustdesk so I can access my home PC when I go on vacation. But it is by no means the only use for Rustdesk. It is useful when performing tasks such as controlling multiple devices in one location, providing tech support to coworkers or clients, or just screen sharing or collaborating on projects. Rustdesk works on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS devices. And with Rustdesk, to minimize risk concerns about security, you can host your own server with minimal configuration so you have full control of your data. If you're using a Raspberry Pi or a PC in your home, make sure you can forward the ports that are needed by Rustdesk. It could be safer to just use a cloud service to avoid having to expose too many ports on your router. I'll be trying out Rustdesk on Linode or Akamai since I already have an account with them. There are different ways of installing Docker. Sure, I can install Docker by running a script I can access on the Docker website. But one of the advantages of using Linode is they have a marketplace of popular self-hosted apps, and one of them is Docker. I can just run a basic Ubuntu server, then install Docker, or I can use the Marketplace tab on Linode. Today, I will use the Marketplace. Go to Linode, click on the Create button, and select Linode. On the Marketplace tab, search for Docker. Enter the limited sudo user you wish to use. Choose the distribution you wish to work with, then the region nearest to your location. The closer the region, the better the performance you'll get from your server. I will select Singapore, as that is the closest available to where I will be vacationing. For the Linode plan, I will use shared CPU. I don't think I will need a dedicated CPU for Rustdesk. Choose one that is best for your application. You can choose high memory, GPU, even a premium CPU. But these are only available in certain regions. Choose a label for your instance, and you can add tags if you want. Here, I will enter my root password. I can add my SSH keys here later on. The rest I will just leave blank, then click Create Linode. Once Linode has finished provisioning the resources for your instance, you can now go SSH into it. Open Terminal or PuTTY to SSH into the server. Using the server's IP address, I can log in using the credentials I entered in Linode earlier. Next. I will update and upgrade my install by typing in sudo apt update, followed by two ampersands, then sudo apt upgrade dash y, and then reboot. Follow the prompts and let it finish. At this time, I will need to go to Cloudflare to have the domain name I registered earlier point to my Linode server's IP. We will need the domain name in the compose file to install Rustdesk. Now back on PuTTY, reboot your machine once the update and upgrades are completed. As soon as it restarts and I'm logged back in, I can proceed to install Rustdesk. I'm going to install Rustdesk by creating a YAML file. First, I will create a directory for Docker. Then I go into that directory so I can create the Rustdesk subdirectory. Then, over at GitHub, we can pull a Docker Compose template that we can use for the install. I'll cd into the Rustdesk directory. I'll type in nano docker compose.yaml, then copy and paste the template from GitHub. There's not much changes I need to do with the template. I just need to update the command here to contain the domain name I created earlier. Control X to save and exit. Press Y to confirm, then enter. After all that is done, all that's left for me to do is run the docker compose file. Back in SSH, type in the script to start the Rustdesk Docker container. It seems Docker Compose was not installed or included, 
when I use the Akamai Marketplace to install Docker. So I need to install Docker Compose first using the script I found on GitHub. Link and script is in the description below. I can also just type in and run apt install docker compose as mentioned on the SSH screen. Next, I need to change the permissions on docker compose to executable. Then check to make sure that docker compose has been successfully installed. As soon as docker compose finishes installing, we can go back to installing rustdesk. Running sudo docker compose up dash d starts the rustdesk container and leaves it running in the background. This will pull everything it needs. Once it's complete, it will say done. This tells me that the Rust Desk server is running and is ready to relay connections. Both my home computer and laptop, in this case, are the clients, so I will need to install the Rust Desk app on both. Download the Rust Desk app from rustdesk.com and install. For Android devices, we will need to download the AEPK file or folder. To use the Rust Desk server I just set up, I just open the Rust Desk app and enter the domain name of my server in the ID slash relay server field. If everything is good, we should get a green light and ready status at the bottom of the app. When I first did this, I got a red light and a not ready status message. So I had to go back to Linode and fix the firewall by using IP tables and identifying which ports needed to be open. I know Linode does not block any ports when servers are created. Maybe this has changed or maybe I just missed a setting configuration. Anyway, everything is working fine now. To connect my laptop to my home PC, I will just need my home PC's ID, then click connect. I will either need to enter the password I've set, or if someone is home, they can just click accept on the connection request. This is the same way I would connect using my phone. Now, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, I can connect to my home PC and do whatever it is I need to do. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Thank you for watching.